What's up guys, in this video I want to show you a bevel trick that I reckon you should know. So, let's say you have a piece like this, and maybe you have a little chamfer here in the front or whatever design, and you want to come in here and take these edges and run a bevel kind of like this. And this comes in, in circum certain circumstances like this one where basically what will happen is I'll bevel with control B, and you're going to notice that this edge right here starts continuing on but not in a linear fashion across one direction. Notice how as the bevel gets bigger and bigger this edge in the middle starts kind of skewing outwards and not really following along a, a, a line really. So for example if I wanted to follow along this edge right here consistently and not pan out this way we have to you know handle that. Let me show you again. This edge right in the middle of that bevel is pulling out. So what I want to do to um, fix that from happening is we basically have to tell Blender what edge we want it to bevel along. And right now we don't have one so Blender kind of does it automatically. It averages it out. So what we can do is actually take a vertex like this, cut across a line for it to follow along. We can just kind of eyeball this and we'll get rid of it after we're done. But basically now if we take this edge right here, Control B, you're going to see this edge in the middle is going to follow along this line. It's not going to skew outward. It's going to be very consistent all the way down. And this is a pretty useful tip because a lot of times I'll bevel and it's not beveling in a uniform fashion and oftentimes the angle just looks off. So what I would do is something like this, kind of give a guide line for um, a guide edge for your bevel to go along and then when you're done you can basically come in here and get rid of it, just dissolve it out. And there you go, and this one's a little bit off because the, um, I need to change the bevel to weight and mark that, but basically that's how you do it. This is also cool because you can kind of see it gives a nice fade out transition to, um, like the bevel, it, it fades out right about here. And you can accomplish this by making sure it fades out appropriately meaning it fades out then eventually hits a flat surface where it's going to have bevel and then fade out to no bevel because there's no more edge for it to bevel along. So pretty cool little way to guide it along a mesh and also to get a nice little fading out type of transition on your bevels. thought this would be helpful to some of you so quick little video for today. Hope it helped and I'll see you in the next one.